Hello, Jesse Good here, back for another video, and today we're going to be taking a look at the LEGO Scooby-Doo set previews that were revealed today. We got actually two set pictures. Uh, we got one of uh, the, 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 the big Mystery Mansion set and the Mystery Machine set, and these were actually revealed as part of the press release for LEGO announcing the Scooby-Doo lineup, and I'm taking these pictures specifically from Toy News Eye. Yes, I did not do a news video on the Mystery Mansion, but I have my reasons. Basically, my phone does not work with mo or with uploading stuff um, via 4G or LTE. And the only way I can upload it via 4G or LTE is by sending it through email, which results in it being 360p quality, which is not really the best quality. So I couldn't do the Haunted Mansion set because I had an HD video prepared, um, but for some reason YouTube Capture won't let me upload on LTE. It keeps on saying that it's on queue. If anybody knows a fix to this or an alternative way to upload via mobile, I will be happy to give a shout out or whatever really um, because I am in dire need to find a way how to upload via mobile and still keep that nice HD crisp quality that I intend to keep with a lot of these news videos. However, I did put kind of a lower quality video out on the Mystery Machine because the pictures that we first got, which weren't from Toy News Eye, the source that I'm going to be using in this video, were from USA Today and they were kind of a lower quality. Um, so I was fine with uploading that as goes with the new Series 14 news because they were a little bit of a lower quality. Anyways, regardless, I really want to express my thoughts on this, just these two sets, because just the idea of the Scooby-Doo line and how they're presenting it really impresses me, and I have separate thoughts on it, so let's get straight into this. So the first set we'll take a look at is the Mystery Machine, and this set looks fantastic. I love how it came out, and I could even say the same with the other set, and I'm so hyped up for this line. You see, Scooby-Doo didn't play a huge part of my childhood, but it did play a pretty you know, decent sized part in my childhood. I did like the original show the most. Uh, I also liked uh, some of the VHS tapes, uh, like uh, uh, the Zombie Island, and uh, dang, I can't even remember any other ones. Uh, but Zombie Island is actually really creepy. Uh, it's a it's a creepy movie. You guys should actually check that out um, because it it did scare me back in the day. It still scares me a little bit now because I rewatched it a few years back and it was still pretty scary. But I re I digress because. Even being not this huge of a fan of the show, these sets are still look fantastic. You can see this one includes Shaggy, Scooby-Doo, a little zombie or a ghoul, and, uh, well, no, it's a zombie, it's a zombie, and it includes Fred, and the Mystery Machine, of course, and it even gives you a little tree, which looks kind of tacky, I guess, because it looks like it's one big sticker, um, but the main part you're going to buy this is the Mystery Machine, and it seems like Shaggy and Scooby will be in every set, uh, according to Cap'n Rex's uh, descriptions from the Toy Fair, which is what I'm also going to be basing a lot of my thoughts and stuff on the Steam in this video from, uh, his descriptions say that Scooby and Shaggy appear in every single set, um, so we are going to be getting a lot of them, but this one right here looks like it may be a unique one to the set, um, because it looks a little bit more goofy for Shaggy, you can see he has kind of his teeth showing and a little bit of a more goofy look, and even Scooby looks different from how he appears in the mansion set in terms of his facial expression, where he has his teeth showing right here. And really, if you look at Scooby, his eyes are definitely different from the style of the other minifigures and the style of any really other minifigures in general from the LEGO lineup. And I think that's kind of cool because it gives a look that is more unique to Scooby as a minifigure, but still, like, that part looks like more like the cartoon, but it also looks a lot like a LEGO minifigure in terms of its body mold. So I like how they're doing that with this theme. It's like Scooby-Doo and LEGO came together. It's kind of like LEGO Minecraft in that sense, where they're not really basing it specifically super like uh, strictly on the show, but they're also putting a LEGO twist to it. And I love that because it seems like it's, it's a great nod to the people who liked the older sets back in the day, or, you know, the older show back in the day for nostalgia. And it's great for kids who love building, and there's going to be lots of play features. And it's like Lego meets Scooby-Doo. And I, I think they should do more licensed themes like that. I'm not saying they should do every one like that, but um, for more nostalgic-type ones, they could do that, where they, they have Lego's interpretation of this theme, like they did with this and like they did with Minecraft. Uh, but if you look at Fred, Fred looks fantastic, too. And what you're noticing is that each minifigure from um, the mystery gang they all have a new hairpiece which I think looks great uh, and, and it really represents the mystery incorporated members very well 
You could even see uh, that his little newspaper right there says "Tree Comes to Life," and I was reading in uh, the the I think it was one of the articles, and it said that what they're doing is they're going to have little clues that will tell who the villain is. I don't know if that's just kind of something they put in the article or if that's really what Lego intends to do as kind of a play feature. So we'll see when the sets actually come out and see how they actually market that. But the mystery machine itself does not disappoint whatsoever. You got this great, it looks like it may even be a new widescreen right here for uh, the front. I'm pretty sure that's a new widescreen. I'm sure initial reports I think said it was a new widescreen. And it looks very, very good. It looks a lot like the mystery machine. Only downside is supposedly, if you read Captain Rex's report, the back does not have um, enough space to fit all four minifigures, I guess, sitting down. Um, maybe it doesn't have seats, but I guess we'll have to see later on because all we got are these outside picks from ToyNewsEye.com. And these are very good picks, and I wish USA Today had a better quality pick like this um, when they first released their Mystery Machine uh, you know, set picture. And the ghoul himself looks pretty cool, too. I like how that kind of looks like a ghoul, um, the ghoul from the original series. And that's kind of what you get. You get stuff that's loosely based on the original series, but it's not strictly based on the original series. And that leads us into the Vampire's Castle, or sorry, the Mystery Mansion set. It's not the Vampire's Castle. The Mystery Mansion set looks fantastic. I love how the set came out. You got the characters, including uh, the vampire Dracula, uh, which looks a lot like the one from, uh, what was the episode name? Crap, I don't remember, but he looks like the one from the original series. You got the Black Knight, which looks kind of like the one in the original series. I would have preferred if they used uh, this castle helmet right here, but uh, I guess they chose not to do that for costly reasons because they haven't really released any sets with that recently, um, at least in the past year or so. And also, Daphne and Velma are actually um velma isn't i mean sorry daphne isn't exclusive to this set but velma is exclusive to this set so if you want to get velma you got to get this set and that kind of sucks because velma looks fantastic and i think out of all of them she may be the best looking one and the one that's most faithful to the series in terms of the interpretation in lego form it looks a lot like how she looks in the series and i think lego did a bang up job with that not saying that any of the other ones look um nothing like how they look in the series because they really look very, very spot on for being kind of like Lego's interpretation of Scooby-Doo. And you can even see Daphne right here. She looks great too. She looks a lot like how she looked in the series. Um, she looks fantastic. I'm sorry. These all look so, so good. And I love the new hair molds they use for each of the Mystery Incorporated members. And Scooby-Doo, you can see clearly he does have a different facial look on here where it doesn't look like he's showing his teeth in the Mystery Mansion set. Um, so that's kind of cool because, like I said, if I'm getting Scooby and Shaggy in every single set, I'm going to want some variation. And they even include a ghost, which um, I guess doesn't really look like one from uh, uh, the the TV show, but it looks it's basically the one that was used in Monster Fighters. So that's pretty cool because people miss out on that minifigure. And you can see a better look at the vampire right here in the middle clock tower, which actually has a cool little clock feature, um, which shows all the parts of the clock, which is pretty cool. And if you look closely, and I, I maybe I might be stretching a little bit when saying this, um, looking at this pic, it looks like uh, Shaggy has a different facial expression here where he's not showing his teeth. Um, but it's very, it's, I, I wish uh, Toy News would have released a little bit of a better quality picture for this, like a high-res picture. Not saying the ones they had aren't fine at all because they look great. Um, but it would have been, I would have been able to determine whether or not Shaggy has a different facial expression because it looks like it. And the cool thing is that um, they do include a little greenhouse right here, which looks fantastic. I love how that came out. And that's probably my favorite part of the whole mansion. Um, of course, we haven't seen the inside yet, and the inside probably looks great, too. And it comes with a little plant, too. And I love greenhouses, and we haven't gotten a Lego greenhouse since that Hogwarts Castle set from uh, 2007. So that was kind of a cool thing to include in there. And this set retails for $90, according to uh, the article on, excuse me, on Toy News. And it, it, they did kind of touch on the prices of some of the other sets. Uh, we know that the... The museum set, which is the smallest set, is $15. And also, a very interesting tidbit to come out from the press release is that we're going to be getting um, uh, actual, uh, we're going to be getting movies, direct to DVD movies, based on Lego Scooby Doo. So that's going to be great because those will come with exclusive minifigures. I'm sure they'll be really funny and kooky, and I'll probably review them and check them out. So. We're also getting a 22 minute Lego special, as it says in there. Um, so that's really cool. And it says will be made for a movie which will um, 
you know, the animation will also be producing um, made-for-video movie titles, which will be released in the coming years for LEGO Scooby-Doo, which you know what that means. This might not be the only way we get of LEGO Scooby-Doo. So I can't wait to see what the other sets look like, and I can't wait to see uh, what the other waves look like in the future um, because this theme is shaping out to be probably my favorite of 2015. Of course, we haven't seen Simpsons yet, um, and I'm a Sim huge Simpsons fan. But, yeah, I guess I'm a sucker for those cartoon sets. Um, so that is really it for now. Thanks for watching this video, and I'm sorry I didn't get the news out for uh, the mansion. But uh, what do you guys think of these sets? And I'll see you guys later.